Hello again guys. Welcome to another edition of our lesson video in TLE6, Industrial Arts. Today's topic is constructing a project plan. This is a LM based video, so stay tuned until the end to understand more of today's subject. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Remember also to hit the notification bell for more content updates. So, let's get started. Lesson 4 Constructing a Project Plan Learning Competencies, Code TLE6IA0D6 Lesson Objectives Let's be informed. Being able to use materials wisely will save time, money, and effort. Moreover, if you know how to reuse, and convert old materials into new and innovative products, you can also earn additional income. Do you know that some people, became millionaires by selling surplus materials, or buying and selling thrift shop items? What is considered as one man's waste, may still be useful to another person. All you need is diligence, perseverance, and a lot of creativity and resourcefulness, to help you come up with a project. Working on a project with careful planning, combined with diligent research and development efforts, not only prevents wastage, but also ensure the product's marketability and saleability. This lesson will guide the student, through the process of constructing a project. Sustainable development and your project. Sustainable development, means improving the people's welfare not only the present but also future generations. When valuable natural resources are used for a project, there is always the underlying issue of sustainable development. A responsible member of the community, must always ensure that his or her actions, does not undermine humanity and the environment. As such he or she must ensure that environmental integrity is maintained, and that the health and security of others in the community, and the life-sustaining ecosystems are ensured. Social equity is not compromised, and that the development of communities and respect for diversity are ensured. Economic efficiency is pursued hand in hand with ecological and social responsibility. Health and safety measures. It is important to know the necessary precautions in order to have successful project making. Focus on the task. Use working clothes or wear an apron. Make sure you wear something comfortable, to make it easier to move around and perform the task. Prepare all materials, tools, and equipment required, before starting the project. Place the equipment beyond the reach of younger children, and keep your things orderly. Read and follow carefully instructions, on the use of chemicals. Use safe goggles to protect the eyes from harsh chemicals. Use appropriate tools for the task. Avoid leaving the containers of glue, varnish, rugby, and other liquids uncovered. 
Be careful in handling sharp objects in order to avoid injury. Clean and keep the tools and equipment in their proper storage after using them. Clean and wash your hands after working. If ever you get hurt or injured, immediately inform the teachers so that you can be given first aid treatment. Resourcefulness and management skills in the use of time, materials, money, and effort. In planning your project for finished products you must know how to be resourceful in using time, materials, money, and effort. A. Time. Manage time effectively to achieve goals. There are some tips in managing time. 1. Group similar tasks so that it can be accomplished at the same time. Learn to organize your tasks. Prioritize your tasks to be done and be faithful to deadlines set. 2. Keep a journal and make a list of what needs to be accomplished for a day, a week, or a month. 3. Delegate some tasks to others, a good manager delegates. Share responsibilities so others may learn. You may make a work schedule for all persons involved. B. Money. One of the most important things in running a business is managing money or finances well. You have to make sure that money is managed effectively. Buy cheap but durable materials for the products. Do not overspend for materials, resources, etc. Budget and allocate your funds efficiently. Set your budgets early. This will prevent spending more than what you have to. Keep accurate records of all transactions. Keep all receipts. Be prepared for unexpected expenses. Reserve funds for such, or save. Preparing a project plan for finished products. In preparing a project plan for enhancing the finished product, consider the drawing of the product to be enhanced as a guide. You must make sure that the policies of sustainable development are followed in making the project. Wise management of resources and skills should be implemented. The following is an example of a project plan in enhancing a finished product.
Let's explain. What are the health and safety measures to be observed in enhancing finished products? What are the pointers on how to manage money resources in enhancing a finished product? How to manage time? Identify the parts of a project plan. Let's do together. A. Construct a project plan using the format about a finished product that you want to enhance or decorate. Present your work to the class. B. Presentation. C. Write true on the line if the statement is correct. Write false if it is incorrect. Let's remember. In constructing a project plan for your finished products, the following must be considered. Sustainable development. Wise management of resources. Assessment of the quality. Product refinement. Reinforcement. Finished project enrichment. Bring the following. Sample finished product Decorations Other materials References Disclaimer This presentation was made for educational purposes only. No copyright infringement intended. Text, images, and clips, all rights credited to the owner.